fellow utopians and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. As you can see our tractor is hooked up to our hydro pole here because the power is out. So luckily we have a generator because it's a very very hot day today. All farms, big farms anyway, have generators because you can't have the animals going without water. So we're just waiting for the hydro to come back on officially, but we have power today. It's extremely hot today. Rumors have it that with humidity, it's going up to the 40s again. Gladiator is not acting himself. So we're a little worried about him. We came in to check on him last night, but when we came in, he was breeding a ewe, so he was okay. But right now I see that he's laying down again. So we're not sure if this heat's affecting him or what's wrong, but we're gonna have to do constant monitoring of him because in this barn today, it's scorching, and it's gonna be scorching in all the barns today. Scotty's doing the right thing. He's laying down in the shade. It's unbelievably hot. I'm guessing that today we're not gonna be doing too much except for chores. Hi, Linus. This is his last day here. Hi, baby. There you go. I don't know if they'll keep him up on a bottle or this will be just his excuse for a weaning. Beautiful bale of hay ready to be pushed out for these girls. Everyone's eating in here. Are you guys hungry? Let's see what Casanova did this morning. We have one. She's going to be a nice one. We got two. This is the fun part about the marker. And we have three. Looks like three, right? Just started. Pretty good. And look at my little sheared sheep. Hi, Thelma. Hi. You look lovely. You look lovely. Where's Louise? Where's my partially sheared Suffolk? Got a lot of her done. But there's Thelma and Louise, one. And what are you doing in here? You don't look like you belong. You don't look like you belong at all. Looks like we have a jumper. So here we are with AJ from Misfits Farm Stead. And he's come to pick up Linus today. Hello. Ah. Linus says hi. <laughs> and we, I asked him about ah. if they took donations at their place. And what did ah. you say? I'm, so, I'm sorry. What Linus a, is answering. Ah. What, do, what do you do? You accept donations at your farm? Ah. Uh, you know what? Um, at the moment, we don't. We're not actually a, a registered charity per se. Ah. So right now, for us, the biggest thing is we. Uh, continue to kind of get going is just uh, you know like and support online and that goes a long way and um, if you get a chance to catch any of the videos or, uh, videos or posts 
Um, you know, there's a big focus and emphasis on education. So, uh, all we really ask is have a look and uh, if you like it, share it along and uh, that'll definitely help us get going, uh, you know, spreading some good word and some good habits. <laughs> there you go, there it is. I told him that he doesn't need a bottle anymore, we're but just, but this eating. is his last bottle. We've never had food before, okay? Tough gig. And so these guys also took a lamb. Um, he was, Teddy was from this winter, right? That's right, and, yeah, about and, the spring. Yeah, and uh, the mom stepped on him and broke his leg, I guess. And they had nothing but problems with him. And what hap what hap what did you have to do end up doing with Teddy? Well, so we uh, we tried casting him to save the leg, um, but it wasn't really set and right. So uh, the best thing for him in the long term, while he was still young, was to amputate the leg. Um, he was still young enough that he was he'd be okay to learn how to get on without it. And uh, you know the compensation for that led to a few a few uh, arthritis issues in the front end. Um, but again, something you know, a little bit of time and attention to uh, worked out quite well, and now he's back outside with a, a couple little buddies, and he loves his people. Uh, he might think he's part puppy, but he loves going for walks with the people, and he's uh, happy-go-lucky and pain-free to the best of our uh, observation Appar now. So. Apparently, he heals like a dog and likes to go for walks and stuff like that, right? Oh yeah, he just loves being around people. And then you got uh, Droopy from us as well, right? Yeah, Droopy. Uh, we renamed him Timmy, but he's doing, uh, he's doing well. He's, you know, he's, he looks a little different, so he stands out well. Um, you know, but eats and drinks and gets on just like a chick. Does, does he still dribble from the side of his mouth? Only with the water. Only with the water. Yep, yep. No problem eating. No, no problem eating. Sometimes he... You know, he gets a little bit of spillage there while he's chomping away, but <laughs> but, but nothing nothing that stops him at all. No. Did, didn't he uh, uh, run into something and poke his eye or something like that? I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened with him. But um, once we got past the bottle, he was he was fine. Yeah. Good. Uh, uh, poor Linus. Linus well, is so agreeable. Well, actually, lucky Linus. Okay. He's got perfect uh, legs now. We thought he'd never have good legs, but. Uh, we didn't have the heart to send him to market, so we thought uh, we'd see if you guys wanted him. And he's uh, he's gonna have a good pal. He's gonna stay with Teddy for a couple of weeks to get used to the place. Oh, is he? Yeah. So he's good. gonna have some good company. We'll get some uh, good. some video of that there when we get home. For sure, for sure. I know everybody follows along with these special ones on the farm. Oh yes. So and they are always asking how somebody did and how they're doing. So oh, they're all doing wonderful. But I know a lot of people from our channel are watching you, so ho ho hopefully some more will. And we're going to thank you for coming and adopting Linus. Well, you know, thanks for thinking of us. It means a lot to us that uh, we've developed that kind of confidence in, in, in such uh, experienced uh, farmers like yourselves. So. Well, I love how your farm's set up, too. I like, I like your, that outer perimeter where they can all run around, yeah. and then you have the... I guess the more susceptible to predator animals in the center type thing, like yep, yep. chickens and stuff. And then the next expansion is out into the out into the woods on the property. So oh, is that some, right? Some forage in that. They seem to really like the uh, the low hanging trees. <laughs> so, oh, they love willow, will, 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 willows, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, uh, especially. Yeah. And and if you, if they're ch chewing on the willows, it looks like you've got someone who manicures uh, your uh, trees. Well, we got, we got a lot of the old. Uh, uh, maples, so they clean them up nice for us. Oh the yeah. Manitoba ones. There. Oh yeah, for also, sure. Also, they clean up that, so it saves my chainsaw a few hours. You just gonna stay in the back seat, okay? You gonna stay in the back seat? Yes, you are. Oh my goodness. Yes, you are. Oh, goodness. Pretty needy. Yes, you are. He, it's probably more needy. Actually, than you actually, he's looking. I'm looking at him there. He's actually looking oh, yeah, pretty yeah. nice. Except for, that, except for that tail, man. No, I mean, the, it's up the, to the, you guys. I can no, <laughs> no. Do you know how many rams we have here? Probably a few. And and I like the idea that he's going to stay at your house, yeah. like. You can put them on Kijiji and say you're going to give, you've got a, a sheep that uh, you want to adopt <laughs> out, and people will actually send them to market. Oh, I know. It's and I, I don't want that, so I feel confident that he's yeah. going to stay safe and loved at your place. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Hey, good boy. 
Maybe we'll have to do a tour to your place one day. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, it's not too far. Yeah. I do the drive every day, so... Yeah, we should. (laughs) We should. Maybe I'll uh, schedule an appointment later in the fall or something to come out and visit. We'll put him online when you get there and see how he does, but he should be fine. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, this guy's dying for attention. Yeah. He's actually a pretty ram. He runs after you. Hey, good boy. He's actually going to ride in the car. Like, loose in the car. (laughs) So, (laughs) he says he's done this before, so he's heavier than most three month olds, I think. (laughs) Ben, stay here. Ben. Don't drink my coffee. Well, good luck in that. So Linus is still free in the back of the truck. He says he transports all their animals that way and has had no problems. So (laughs) Linus ran out of the barn when we opened the gate and came running down the yard and came right to him. So all's good for Linus and uh, maybe shortly we'll do a little road trip there and have a look at what they're doing at their farm. They're trying to get set up and it's very interesting over there. Well, that was a super hot day, so we kept it pretty short today and didn't do too much work. But I hope you enjoyed meeting AJ and seeing who Linus is going off with. And please join us again tomorrow because we are gonna be here in the heat. So stay tuned, bye for now.